Hi people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosalind Kihamba and this is the RFF channel where we talk everything relationship, faith and family. And if you're here for the first time, I appreciate you so much. Feel welcomed by clicking the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any video that comes. For them that have always been here, the OGs of this channel, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for always sharing. Thank you for liking, commenting, viewing, and also tagging others along as you come for the weekly videos. And for today, there's something that really just saddens my heart. Domestic violence. What has the world amounted to? Where are we headed as a society? I'd like to bring us to terms, especially for them that may not have had all these cases that have been happening. I'd like to give a few cases that made, you know, just made headlines in our news avenues. One of them, this one happened a little bit long, some years ago. There was a woman that whose limbs and hands were chopped off because she could, she was barren. And then lately, there was this man that came. We saw him, his body is so burnt, and he had been burnt by his wife using acid. Then we heard of the cases of a pregnant woman that was battered to death. People, pregnant woman battered to death. You know, a chill just runs down my spine. Sometimes I listen to these news and I'm like, what has the society amounted to? The other case of a woman that collaborated, allegedly collaborated with the police to kill the husband. And most of these, most of these stories are not conclusive. And therefore, some we can only just say that they are allegations. And another allegation was where a woman was killed allegedly husband and the mistress collaborated to allegedly kill this woman many more that go unreported others that we don't even get to know that they happened but whether we've been affected or not whether we've been victims in the past or not or whether we've just heard of this information from, from the news headlines and it ends there. We are supposed to, at least if our conscience still serves us right, we are at least supposed to be trying to find out what is wrong, what is wrong in the society. And so, even as a channel, this is the RFF channel where we talk everything relationship, faith, and family. I believe this is a matter that we cannot just bury our heads in the sun like the proverbial ostrich and expect that things will get better with time. So, I hope you join me to just try to find out. Tell me through the comment section, let us get to understand what is happening people maybe to start us off i think one main factor that could be contributing to this is actually how our society has been socialized to believe the fact of happily ever after especially for marriages has been criticized and you know, people have believed the myth that love is not forever. You know, the way when you get married, when people get married, and we as we assume that it is for life till love till death do us part. Most people have come to believe that this is not something that is achievable, and so our society has, you know, resigned to the fate that. When we hear of cases of violence, when you hear of cases of, you know, separation, divorce, it is a norm that has been welcomed and it sounds, it, it sounds, you know, what can you do about it? You know, it's normal. It's normal to, it's normal to divorce. It's normal to, you know, to separate. It's normal. People have taken it. I've accepted it as a norm. 
so don't report these cases and we tend to think that i'll not be the first one to start seeing that i'm being battered i'll not be the first man especially for men they feel like how do you go reporting that my wife has is harassing me is physically abusing me you know men also have come to a point where they believe like i can't swallow my ego to go and report such a case and so we're in a society where things are happening and we only get to know when it is unrepairable when we've gotten to the point of the you know our wits and when we reach our wits end and it's now only a matter of death permanent damage emotional torture you know people are psychologically affected and their lives they are not, you know they're just like a living dead because of the experiences that they've encountered in their relationships after looking at these cases there are some common things that are just popping out you know there are some of the points that i can deduce from these cases and one of them is that the victims in these scenarios always feel like it will get better you know they think that it's only for today maybe he's just beating me for today she's just harassing me for today tomorrow it will get better secondly others believe that it is their mistake and therefore they deserve that kind of treatment or punishment you know you feel like i'm the one who provoked him or her and so i deserve to be treated in that manner others also believe that it is just you know it i cannot go speaking it out you know they they feel like what what will people say if i tell them what i'm going through you know the 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 question of what will people say keeps rising and therefore it makes someone just stay there with their issue with their problems and not to speak out others also who stay because they don't have anywhere else to go okay no matter the no matter the reasons we've stated above there's one thing that keeps to stand up that the fact that we are losing life people are actually dying others are being immobilized for life then we have to come to a point where we realize that our lives matter more than all those reasons that you've given above that the moment you realize that my life has to be number one and if it's being threatened then it's high time you did something that will help you or will save you so that we don't get you to be part of the statistics that we keep hearing from domestic violence and there are some some of the things that i like to mention that can be of help so that we don't get ourselves stuck in relationships that are abusive in marriages that are are deadly you know are fatal it's just a matter of time and the bomb will will blow so one having checked the reasons the reasons that we have listed up there one thing is that we have to speak out let's not assume that the society is tired of hearing such cases let us find people that we can find self shelter in and speak to them it's not an issue of going to speak out to everyone you know you're not going to tell everyone that i've been i'm being abused in my relationship in my marriage no find people that you can confide in and who can help you in that walk out of that toxic relationship secondly let us also find safe havens you know you cannot be handling such an issue or that is affecting your life a matter of life or death and you're still in that area of area of attack that is that is to say if it's a marriage there's no way you're going to handle that situation when you're still in that marriage 
as much as we told and basing that this channel is a on the christian faith we all know that our marriages are supposed to be for life but there comes a time especially when your life is being threatened in such a manner there's no way you're losing your peace you're losing your mind you're losing your your part of your body for the sake of staying until death do you part you know actually the death could be the death from that abusive relationship and that is not what god intended for us so let us not continue holding abuse emotional abuse sexual abuse while you're still in that source of all that abuse so find somewhere safe to approach so that any when you are approaching that that issue you are approaching from a place of safety then the other thing is that let us not fear the stigma that has that has clipped our society don't fear what people will say because people are going to speak even on your dead body you know these cases where uh, that these cases that have resulted to death i mean we are still talking about them we are even talking about them here on this channel yet they are long gone and forgotten so if you're fearing what people will say be reminded that they will speak when you're still alive when whether you're alive or dead so it's better they speak when you're still alive another one of the reasons that we say it is that people feel like they have nowhere else to go they have nowhere else to run to so it will really be proper let us try to be independent try find something to do especially for the women folk we find that you're fully relying on your husband and you feel like if you walk away or if you go out then your financial dependence on this person will be cut off and you have nothing of your own try find something be financially independent find something that you can do with your hands that in case you support your support your financial support from that party or that partner is no longer guaranteed you're able to proceed with your life last but not least is the fact that it will not get better with time let us not lie to ourselves that it just happened for today this person will get better tomorrow it's actually in someone's character let us not be blindfolded you know most of the time we want to think that this person abused me yesterday night and by morning they were very good to me and in that way you find that you're being blindfolded by the little love 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 you know love notions or love actions that this person is showing to you so let it be known that a person that has already proven violent or abusive is just that there's no question of they will change with time they were just high on drugs or alcohol or you feel like they were just not in their right state of mind no it is just that they are abusive so the moment we accept and the moment we accept to to change our attitude to accept that this is what is happening we find that it will help us and it will salvage our lives from these toxic relationships it will be a better place for us to live in our societies will be a better place to live in if we only be very careful on how we live with our loved ones for them that have been the proper you know perpetrators of this violence it's just something that we should know that god has given us this opportunity to be stewards of people in the form of our relationships or in the marriages that we are in and one day we'll give an account of what we were taking care of 
So you might be having the power over this other person that you are abusing or mistreating, but a time will come when you will have to give an account of your role as a steward to God the Father. And for them that have been victims before or have suffered in the hands of abusive relationships, be an encouragement to others. Let us let us you know stretch and get to reach out to these people that are hurting that require counseling that require just to be told that it will it will be okay as much as they've gone through that pain of losing of maybe of losing their relationships that they had held dearly we have that role of encouraging them that it is not over there's still an opportunity for them and for you that is watching i do know how you, you your tech is i don't know your take in this matter but one thing and desire is that we will be proactive to matters that are affecting our families let us not be the ones that are propagating the stigma you know we are the ones spreading the stigma that marriages are not working talking ill of these people that are trying to speak out to us and others even go to the extent of you know sidelining and trying to make them feel like losers in life let us be each other's keeper and these menace these violence in marriage in families in relationships will be a thing of the past if we can only unite and pray for our families to last i believe it's just highlights that have given there's so much more that can be added to help salvage our society and so hit my comment button and ensure that you leave your comment that so that you get to compile and even see how we can help the society be a better place to live in. I think I should end this here. It was really a long one. You know, this is a matter that is hurting, a matter that is very important for us as a family channel. But I leave it at here. Hope that next time we get to talk about something that has a happy ending and not a melancholic kind of tone like we've done to do. So until next time, if you've not subscribed, ensure you subscribe, ensure you like, ensure you comment. Goodbye.